Testing, testing, one, two, three. Company Journal Jack, week 47. Ladies and gentlemen, men and women, boy and girls, boys and girls, man, have I got a show for you. 0425, Tuesday, the 12th of December, 2017. <clears throat> After standing out in the snow, talking to my manager, you know, the last one's at work, everyone else is gone, we're all closed up and everything. As I mentioned, we're out in the snow. I'm telling him a little bit about Tim Horton's history in my family. Tim Horton's history in my family, I say. I'm telling him a little bit about that and all, and he says, I'm going to go in now because he's getting cold. I said, wait, there's one more little tidbit I wanted to share. He says, you should have said Timbe. And he says, sorry. Because he, unlike me, when he tells such eye-rolling jokes, doesn't publish them, he apologizes for them. Sometimes I do. Not on my videos, or do I? No, I think I have. So moving on. <clears throat> Later that day, that Tuesday, more of the actual daytime hours, I'm going around with my friend in Texas. Yes, I've flown out to Texas for my birthday, which was actually the day before that. But you know, that's the purpose of going out there. It's not regardless of whether it's the exact day, and this is all not relevant we're picking up his boys, his black boys, because he's a black man and he has a black wife, from school. They're, what, four and five, or you know, pretty young. One of them, they call him Pickle. It's not his actual name. It's a pretty cool name, Pickle. He tells his teachers that Pickle is my son. And they want to believe him, but they don't want to believe him. So it's pretty hilarious. So later we get home, and I'm talking to Pickle, and I tell him, I said, you know I'm your dad, right? He says, no, you're not. I'm like, how do you know? He said, because you're not brown. You'd be more brown if you were my dad. I didn't know that. Thursday the 14th, unofficial record. It was sometime that evening. Again, I didn't record the time. Horrible, I know. <clears throat> Pickle and I are upstairs in his Texas home watching some funny fails videos on YouTube. Now this is amazing. I love it. It's when him and his brother, when they hear their mom or their dad call him, they like, sir, ma'am, and go off just like that. Like, I don't even hear them half the time. I know they've been called because they just perk up, sir, go run to their dad or ma'am, go run to their mom. It's awesome. So Pickle and I watching his videos and he just, ma'am, and runs off downstairs. And he comes back rather quickly and resumes watching with me. So I asked him, did she not want you? He says, no, she wanted the big white man. Mind you, he knows my name. So I said, did she mean me? He looks at me and says, no, you don't look white. Consulted him later with his older brother and agreed that I'm not white, I'm tan. It's good to know. You get an education when you go to Texas. I tell you what. 12 15, Friday the 15th, while shopping, still in Texas, I noticed a pair of pajamas. These are a little, anyway, whatever. It said on it, cannot miss. And it had a basketball on them. So, you know, saying you can't miss on the basketball court. I thought this was genius, putting them on pajamas, since no one's about to make you prove it when you're going to bed. Uh-huh, uh-huh. From the lips of the starving comedian, why did the coffee go to the police station? It got mugged. <laughs>